I feel like I've eaten out of date slop today. Hello everyone and welcome to a Christmas special of Cooking with Ant. <laughs> And today's recipe is actually suggested by one of you guys. So Lisa got in touch on Instagram and suggested that I make cranberry candle salad. And you might be thinking to yourself, what is a cranberry candle salad? Well, this is what it looks like. And honestly, it looks like a tin of dog food with a candle stuck inside of it. And on this little blog post, someone else has tried to make it. And somehow they managed to make it look even worse. <laughs> But we'll give this a go. It screams Christmas, doesn't it? A log of cranberry stuff. There's a lot of weird stuff that goes into it with a candle on top. So it's what Christmas is all about. Okay, so the first step for this is to heat cranberry sauce, strain, and then set the berries aside. And I needed to buy canned whole cranberry sauce. And I've bought it, but I don't know whether mine's got any cranberries in. It says whole cranberries, and it's the exact same brand as what they've got or what they've used. Obviously, mine's not in a tin, but I can't see any cranberries inside of it. Obviously this is an American recipe and I don't think in the UK like cranberry sauce and cranberries as a whole It's not really a big thing like we'll have it at Christmas and I think that's about it I just don't think it's a popular food here It was literally only this one or like a smooth version and maybe there are cranberries in and they're just hiding <laughs> We'll soon see so I need a pound of cranberries and I don't know what a pound is pound in grams 453 grams. I'll just stick two jars of this stuff in. I think that'll be fine Also, this recipe is very vague so I'm not 100% sure whether I'm doing all of this right, but I'm just gonna try my best. Right, so heat it up. So I've got my little heater here. Shove this in here. There's definitely no cranberries in that. No, mine's not gonna have cranberries in because what's the point of calling this whole cranberry sauce and the other one smooth? What's the difference? Never mind, never mind. I tried, I bought the one that they suggested, but it's different in the UK. Right, and we'll get this heated up. I'm also not a lover of cranberries. I just, I don't know, I don't particularly like them. I find like cranberries and cranberry sauces and cranberry juice incredibly dry. The only time I'll ever drink cranberry juice is if I've got a water infection because apparently it's good for that. Other than that, no thank you. I think there is cranberries in here. I think that's a cranberry there. Oh, it is. Okay. There are actually cranberries inside of here. I, I was just expecting more cranberries. There must be like literally five whole cranberries inside of here. Oh, okay. It's fine. I haven't made any mistakes then. Also, I'll forewarn you now, if you're going to want to make this, which no one's going to want to make this, but if you are going to want to make this, it's going to take you all day. I'm going to be making this the entire day. There's a lot of, like, waiting around and waiting for things to set and stuff, so just keep that in mind if you're tempted by this dish. Okay, I think that might be done. Don't really know what I'm looking for, to be fair, but it's, it's heated up. So I'm thinking I'll use a little sieve and strain this. I don't know whether it's going to do anything. What am I trying to do? Keep the berries separate to the sauce. Right, I'm going to see if this works. I don't know whether it will. Are there any cranberries in here? Is there any point? There must be like two cranberries inside of this. I don't feel like I'm doing anything. <laughs> This is pointless. This is a waste of time. Look how much juice I've got off it. You know what? No, I'm just going to keep it all as one. I don't understand that stuff. Because my cranberry sauce doesn't go to liquid, so it doesn't make any sense. Right, I've got some heated up cranberry sauce. That's what I'm keeping it at. I don't care. Right, so I need one cup of boiling water. Liquid cup in milliliters. So I need 236 milliliters of boiling water. Okay, I've got some boiling water. Heat cranberry sauce and set dissolved gelatin. How much did it want? Three ounces. This is 135 grams. So just over half of this. Oh, I bought four thinking I would need more. I've got so much jelly. It said you could use any kind of flavored jelly you want and I decided to go for orange. I think that'll be right. I'm not gonna measure, I can't be asked. I honestly can't bother to get my scales. Yeah, in hot water. It also says dissolve gelatin in hot juice and water. I don't know what the juice is. I don't know what they're talking about. In fact, I'm gonna add one extra cube just in case. And then I need to dissolve this. Okay, I must be adding all of this together. This isn't me being weird, mind. These instructions are really hard to follow. You know what, I think it'll be easier. Get my little heater back on. Get that there. I'm gonna shove that in. And dissolve this down. I'm just have to use my cooking intuition with this recipe. <laughs> so it wants a quarter tablespoon of salt. In that goes. And one tablespoon of lemon juice. And then I'm gonna add this back into here. I honestly have absolutely no idea whether I've made this right. I can't find where the cranberries have gone. 
I have absolutely no idea. Maybe I didn't see a cranberry. Maybe I thought I saw a cranberry and it wasn't actually there. Okay, so that's all dissolved, all combined. It's looking just basically like a red liquid. I'm just gonna stick it back in this dish. And now I need to put this in the fridge and chill until thickened enough to mound slightly when dropped from a spoon, whatever that means. I think it'll be about a couple of hours. So I'll stick this in the fridge, we'll come back, and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm finally back. Unfortunately, I don't think my mixture is right. So this is it here. It's been sat for a good four hours, well nearly four hours, and I've had it in the fridge and the freezer to try and accelerate the setting. And if you look at it, it's just, it's basically still water. It's not right at all, but I've got a plan. So before I move on to the next step, all I've done is mixed up some just regular, plain, normal gelatin, and I'm gonna put some of this into here, because otherwise, when I finish everything, I don't think this is gonna set, and it's just gonna be a well, just like a blob of nothing. So I'm gonna add this into here. At the end of the day, I would rather have too much jelly, too much gelatin, and for it to set, than not enough, and for it not to set. Right, now just mix that in. That wasn't a part of the official recipe, that was just me. I was gonna say, using my knowledge. <laughs> using whatever's in my brain to try and make this work. So this next step might explain why this recipe is even a thing. Because now it wants half a cup of mayonnaise, and mayonnaise might sound like a weird ingredient to put into this, and you'd be correct, but this recipe is an official Hellman's recipe, apparently. That's where I've traced it back to, it goes way, way back. And if you remember when I did the stuffed lettuce thing, and we were talking about Cool Whip, I think this is basically exactly the same thing, but with Hellman's mayonnaise. And I'm not using Hellman's, I'm just using Tesco's. So it wants half a cup of mayonnaise into here. Mm-hmm. Oh, just why? I love mayonnaise, but, ah, oh, no. No, why? Just why? And then I need to mix it all together with a power whisk to make it nice and frothy and horrible. <laughs> oh, it's going everywhere. It is going absolutely everywhere. I'm gonna have to change bowls. I can't mix it in there. All right, get you transferred into this one. I mix you up again until you get light and fluffy. I wouldn't really consider that light and fluffy. <laughs> And I've got it all over myself. It, it'll do, it's, oh. It somehow smells like paint and onion, which is weird because there's no paint in this and there's also no onion in this. It honestly, it smells like emulsion paint with a hint of onion. Why? Why does it smell like that for? Why? Right, so I'll put that to one side for now and we'll move on to this next step. So I need one orange peeled and diced. And because I've got little tiny oranges, I'm gonna put three in. It just says diced, it doesn't say how fine, so I'll just kind of do it how I want to do it. I'm just wondering, do I want it chunky or do I want it very fine? I think if I have it chunky, it'll hide the taste of everything else, so that might be an idea. <laughs> okay, so there's some oranges chopped and just slop them into there. I find this weird that this is a salad because it doesn't really, there's not Nothing that actually goes in here that you would consider a salad, really. I suppose a fruit salad, but not like a savoury, like, nom nom salad. Right, what do I need now? I'll tell you what I need. I need to wash my hands. Okay, and then it wants a quarter cup of chopped walnuts. And I'm not a huge lover of walnuts. I don't, I don't mind nuts. <laughs> Wink. But I just don't really like walnuts. And I tried to look for some that were already chopped, but I couldn't find any, so I'm gonna have to chop them myself. Oh, boo -hoo. Again, I don't know how fine they want it. A quarter cup, is that gonna be enough? Yes, yes it is, perfect. And chuck you in there. And at this point, I would also add my cranberries, but my cranberries disappeared, so I'm not gonna add them. And apparently I'm just folding all of this together. Next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? Fold the cheese, David, fold the cheese. He folded in. What does that mean? Um. It says fold it in! I don't fully understand what folding means, but I've, I've mixed them together. What does burning smell like? And then this bit is very unusual because it says divide mixture evenly into eight six ounce fruit juice cans. I don't know what a fruit juice can is. I don't know where they got the fruit juice can from or what that's about. However, it looks like they've used a tin as like a mold. So I'm just gonna use an old soup can and this is just gonna have to do. So so I'm gonna slop you into here. Oh, well this isn't working, is it? 
Honestly, awful. Absolutely hideous. And now I need to chill this in the refrigerator for four hours. So I might see you later today to get all of this ready and give it a taste test. But it also might be tomorrow. I don't know how long this is going to take. So I'll see you when I see you. And we can tuck into a cranberry candle salad. Do I want to tuck into a cranberry candle salad? No, I really don't anymore. Not now that I've made it and I know what's in it. I really don't want to eat it. <laughs> Okay, so I think my cranberry candle thing is fully set. I honestly, I feel like I put a bit too much gelatin in. I think that gelatin was a mistake. It's definitely set though. Look at it. Look at the state of that. Oh. Oh, and I have to put this in my mouth. I have to literally eat this. What am I doing? I don't think I'm going to enjoy this, but let's see if I can get this out of the mold. Oh, and you're supposed to like bathe it in hot water and then it slips out the mold. I'm going to quickly do that. I'm going to just dip this in the sink and then I'll come back and it'll fall out. I learned that last time. Okay, let's see if this is going to work now. Oh, come on. This is a stupid idea, mind, using a tin as a mold. Oh, I can feel movement. Oh, oh, it's coming. I think it's coming. Please be set. Oh, you're getting there. I feel like I'm going to get this out and it's just going to go all across the plate. Oh. Oh, if you can hear the sounds. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, you have not set at all. Well, you have, but you haven't, you haven't maintained the shape of the can. Uh, oh no. Oh, what a sad, sad looking thing. Right, quickly, quickly, before it like just disintegrates into nothing, add some salad around the outside and just hide, hide the liquid. And then we need to quickly put a candle in the middle of it because this is the candle part. Put that in like that and then light it. And there we go, cranberry salad candles. Oh, how delightful and delicious. Make a wish everyone, happy Christmas. Okay, so it's time to tuck in and see oh, see what this is going to be like. Apparently, you're supposed to serve it with a bit of mayonnaise to add to the, obviously, the mayonnaise that's already in it. Let's have a little bit. I'll just take that candle out. I don't want any wax in my food. I think I'm going to struggle with this. Right, I want a bit of the candle. Get every component, so a bit of the salad and a bit of mayonnaise. Okay, so if you were tucking in, this is what your spoonful would look like. It's got the consistency of like phlegm. That's what I would describe it as. Okay, I'm just delaying. It's took in. Let's see what it's like. It's only cranberries and jelly and fruit and stuff. It's fine. It's fine. No. Mm -mm. Mm. There's something in this, and I don't know what I've put in it, and it is so sour. I put lemon juice in, but it was only like, a, what, a tablespoon or so. It is so, it's it's that sour, it tastes off. Like, that's how bad it is. It does not taste like you should be eating it. It doesn't, no. That is disgusting. Usually with these things, they either look bad or they taste bad. It's very rare. It's, it's both. It's both, both things, it tastes and looks awful. It is so sour. The only thing I can describe it is like a very tangy kind of soup, but then it also like, it, it gets your mouth all sticky. And then I got a little bit of crunch from the walnut, so that was a surprise. Just overall, just so bad. Absolutely shocking. I would go as far to say in this entire series, I think this is the worst thing I've made. Do not make this for Christmas time, for when guests come round, or for Thanksgiving or anything, unless you literally never ever want company again. So that could kind of be a pro. But still, mm -mm, don't make it. Please don't make it. And what's the point of the candle part? The whole thing is just a very, very confusing dish. And it would be fine if the redeemable aspect of it was that it tasted okay, and it doesn't. Weirdly, it doesn't even taste like cranberry anymore. It just tastes like off food. It feels like I've gone into the bin, found some like out of date slot and been like mmm nom 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 mmm nom nom nom. That's that's what it's like. I feel like I've eaten out of date slop today. I'm not happy about it. So I think that just about does it for today's Christmas special of cooking with ants. <laughs>
<laughs> and I know this whole series is about making like really disgusting foods and kind of historic foods and trying them out and stuff. This, this is the pinnacle. I don't think it gets any worse than this. I don't think it can possibly get any worse than this. But a big thank you to Lisa for suggesting I make this because, oh, you've outdone yourself, Lisa. If you wanted to really put us through it, you've definitely succeeded. But if you did enjoy today's absolute monstrosity, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any weird or disgusting recipes that you want me to try in this series, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below. But I guarantee you, you won't beat Lisa's cranberry candle thing. I've gone a bit giddy, that's how bad it was. But I hope you have a very nice Christmas lunch and Christmas day and Santa's nice to you and all of that kind of stuff. If obviously you celebrate Christmas. If you don't, then I hope you have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you next week for a brand new video.